I've set the PowerPoint for Section 4 to review mode in Top Hat, and there are some embedded questions at the end of that. I didn't want to go through one of those just to make sure you see how to work with an equation that does require factoring. So this was number four in those embedded questions, and it's x divided by x plus 2 plus 4 divided by x minus 3 equals 20 divided by x squared minus x minus 6. To solve this problem, we need to factor this denominator x squared minus x minus 6. So if we look at the factors of x squared is x and x, the factors of 6 whose difference is 1 are 3 and 2, and we know there are different signs with the minus being on the larger number. So when we look at what are the restrictions on this equation, the restrictions come from setting those denominators with the variables equal to 0. x plus 2 is equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 2. x minus 3 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 3. Now notice the product x minus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0 when either of those factors is zero, which we've already solved those particular equations. So our restrictions are that x cannot be negative two and x cannot be three. The least common denominator requires us to have a factor that x plus two will divide into. We need to have something that x minus three will divide into, so we need that as a factor. And then, the other denominator requires an x minus 3 and x plus 2, which we already have included. So the LCD is a product of all those different factors. Then we multiply each term of that equation by the LCD. And in so doing, the first term has a common factor of x plus 2, so we multiply the x times x minus 3, which gives us x squared minus 3x. In the middle term, the x minus 3's divide out, we're left with 4 times x plus 2, which is 4x plus 8. And on the right, both of those factors are common, so we're just left with 20. Notice this is a quadratic equation because of the exponent of 2. We need to combine like terms and then get one side equal to 0. Combining like terms, we get x squared plus x plus 8 equals 20. Subtract 20 to get one side equal to 0. That leaves us with x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. Now we factor x squared factors as x times x. The factors of 12 whose difference is 1 would be 3 and 4. We need different signs with the larger factor being positive. So we have a plus 4 and minus on the 3. So now we set x minus 3 equal to 0, or x plus 4 equal to 0. Our possible solutions are 3 or negative 4. But remember what we have to do with rational equations, we don't just stop there. We've got to consider if either of these numbers are extraneous solutions. And notice that we found originally that x can't be 3 because it makes this denominator 0. So 3 is extraneous, which means we need to discard it and keep only the negative 4. So our solution set would just simply contain the number negative 4.